slightly. Mr. Lee might know about this mask. I do wonder what Mr. Lee might know about this mask. Also, why, Lucas? Why are we the amazing bag man? <laughs> so dumb. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Look at that. Um, are we going to put on a fresh suit for a fresh recording session? Fresh suit, fresh... Lucas, you know we fucking are. Let's do it. Fuck it. Fresh suit, fresh recording. Boom. What's your fancy? And yes, I'm aware everyone who sent me annoying messages about it, we haven't unlocked some costumes. Fuck it. So let's just buy this one right now because it's there. And this one I can't unlock because I've not completed the game 100%. Yeah, it's... Sorry. Um, doing the photographs of it. all the buildings, I think. That one. You have to do 100%. No, it's 100% the game. What's the um, very, very last one? The very, very last one is Stealth Suit from um, Homecoming. Oh, sorry, Tell you what, far. let's be Night Monkey for a bit. Okay, we'll be the Night Monkey. Yeah. Look at it. It's pretty decent. Because I quite like this as a take on, like, oh, shield the, it's the take on, it's a, Literally, it's this, this. It is, yeah. They wanted to reference this without it actually being that suit. Never mind this one. It's cool. It is night time. Makes sense. It is. I just don't like the idea of Spider-Man wearing tactical gear. Like, I've, that's I've what I mean. Is I like it, it in the movie in the sense of, oh, well, this is kind of what S.H.I.E.L.D. would make for him. I've just, yeah, but like, I... fuck putting you in just latex suit. But like, we're just going to should... give you some tactical gear. But he doesn't need to be tactical. And there's the power we get with this one, which is unrelenting fury. Enemies cannot block, interrupt your attacks, even if they have S.H.I.E.L.D. Which sounds pretty useful, so we'll keep that on. Yeah, sure. I suppose. But I did get a, like, an angry fucking message from someone who'd highlighted this in a screenshot. You've not unlocked this one yet. It's like, okay. For fuck's sake. That suit that I'm probably never going to choose to wear. It's more the thing as well, like, I had the stuff to unlock it straight away, which is what I said. So yeah. Like, oh. Anyway, yeah, Night Monkey. Night Pose Monkey. Like a box. I think looking through this window, you can kind of tell that that's not a real inside of a building. Folks, yeah, I yeah. have to once again oh, for fuck's defend sake. myself against the spurious claims from McDonald Mac Gargan, so aka Scorpion. Yeah. the Scorpion. Yeah. See, Mac Gargan yes, Scorpion. As yeah. I fully disclosed, <laughs> I bankrolled the experiment that gave him superior strength. That's a real speed, thing from the comics as well, by the way. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. J. Jonah Jameson like an pays him. To, he makes the Scorpion try and beat Spider-Man. <laughs> Menaces. I had it's... no idea he was crazy. Do you think his resume said Where's that thing of like JJ is finish? such a fucking hypocrite? Lawsuit, yeah, he really he talks is. about oh man, people shouldn't be allowed to run around with unchecked power. And then he funds secretly a thing to make exactly that problem. To make a fucking supervillain. It's like, yeah, he might not have known that he was a psychopath, but he still went against everything he fucking blabbed on. Yeah. So he's 100% hypocrite, and I like that in different um, versions of the game, or different versions of the Spider-Man story, you have a uh, different version of, like, JJ. Where he's, some of them he's just a raging prick, and What is that post, by the way? He's, he still looks like whatever he wants it to be. So let's go speak to Mr. Martin Lee. Oh, yeah. Use a snack. That guy could not give less of a fuck. <laughs> like, Spider-Man like, oh, falls Spider from the sky. Too. I love this. I love these little um, uh, cutscenes. They're just smiling, yeah, yeah. chilling. Actually, putting context behind why the, the time is changing. Like he's having a bagel. He's having his morning coffee. Uh, does Spider Man ever sleep? I, I'm going to say part of his superpowers is that he has like increased um, stamina. Yeah, sure. <laughs> because there are comics where they talk about the fact oh, yeah, Spider Man once fought crime for like 24 hours straight. Yeah. And was still fine. Like you can operate at peak capacity for like days at a time without tiring. So I'm gonna guess that. Also, Spider Man looking pretty stylish in this outfit. I don't yeah, know if this Peter Parker look. Maybe he could wear like slimmer fitting jeans, man. Show off that Parker booty. Maybe Come that's on, why he wears like looser clothes though. Yeah, that's that's why Superman does. To so maybe it. not show off that he's ripped as shit. Because there is the costume where he is like got his shirt off and he is ripped as all balls. Yeah, he is. Yeah, looks roast Tico on TV. Love it. Sup, everyone. What? What? These skills. I should just have the option if I want to to like you no know, web to the ledge. <laughs> like, the option should always be there, but if I do it, the game should end because everyone knows I'm Spider Man. Yeah. But well, Martin Lee going? sees it and just kills you. Oh, there we go. It tells me. Locate Martin Lee on it. Like Spider Man just jumps up the ledge. It's like what? 
Peter, I didn't know you could jump 34. Oh, Here we go. Uh, I'd be a pro wrestler. <laughs> Best gimmick ever. So that's what Spider Man actually does, isn't it? Yeah. Go and be a pro wrestler. Does that mean no one knows that? I went mean, like the human spider who fought like Crusher Hogan or whatever the fuck it is. Was the Spider Man. <laughs> Here we go. Inspiration, I mean, in, um, progress, success. In the Raimi film, you would imagine that it's pretty fucking obvious because he uses Spider Man powers. Mm -hmm. So you'd imagine, yeah, that guy that sprung up calling himself like a human spider using Spider Man powers just before Spider Man came along. Well, then Probably again, that's that same guy. And that was like a house show watched by like a thousand people. Yeah. People would kind of forget. And eh. probably before the invention of mobile phone. Yeah, it was way before because it was like yeah, early 2000s. 2000s. Yeah. What can I do for you? I'm sorry Mr. to bother you, I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. I love that. Let's see what yeah, you I think that sums up half of people's fucking degrees. When you, especially an art degree. Yeah. Where did she find it? Hmm. And like, yeah, I'm fortunately, sure. like, a lot of people make it into what their own, replica of a um, like, you know, career path of their degree. But for anyone that doesn't go into art this. after studying yeah. art, I don't think you're going to use it much yeah. after. Yeah. Also, my computer, my PS4 my is still going Super Saiyan. Read me ghost stories with that oh, it is. In it yeah. yeah. Can you hear it? Uh, I can't hear it, no. But you know it is. Because I think the feedback I've got is we can't hear it, Carl. But maybe clean out your vents. Peter, listen. And I think the joke I told Damn you is when we were recording Transformers, my first thought was, it how can it be dusty? I don't play my PlayStation. <laughs> yeah. um, Jane might want that's where the dust story. comes from. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. Trouble? Well, Martin Lee's like, oh no, shit's getting real. Why take the risk? He's cool. He's really charismatic. He's he is. I really enjoy the character. He's a very charismatic and handsome man. And Peter I can, Parker's I can not see why he, I guess, tricks people hey, into not, not knowing he's, a, you know, El Negativo. Really Mr. Lee. Yeah, Mr. Negative. I've never seen him like that. He Ooh. even said you should drop the story. Ooh. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I don't think he has anything more to do with the story. That's the last dramatic. we'll ever see of Mr. Lee. <laughs> that makes sense. That's 100% guaranteed. Catchy name. It might be the last okay, we see of... Get no, it's not. I was going to say, as Mr. Lee. Well, but I, I believe he does show up again, connect. not as Mr. You know, Lee. The business community's really stepped up. Yeah, both okay. job training and hiring. Oh, both the Rose, that's them. the place that Peter Parker Sad worked. not to see Oscorp here. Oh. So that's, that's, cool like, that's the little thing. About, yeah, the place that Peter Parker used to work. Uh, he managed to convince them to um, hire the people from Feast. Also, mm. look at those fucking benefits. That's a coffee shop. It's a coffee shop. You get a discount at the cafe, paid vacation, healthcare, and dental. What? For working in a coffee uh, in a coffee shop. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure you don't get that in most places. I'm pretty sure like most massive companies don't offer that. And this is like a local coffee shop in New York. Holy yeah. shit. Also, they missed the trick here not having um, uh, that be uh, Murdoch. <laughs> yeah. That, that could have been like Murdoch and Waters. Or it could have been um, She Hulks as well. Is that what? No, it's Walters, isn't it? Sorry, Jenny Walters. Walters, Walters or yeah. Waters? Walter, Water. Which one? I forget. Walters? I always forget. Can you look it up? Because I'm going to feel bad. I'm, I'm, I'm literally else. picking up my phone before you said it. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's Jennifer. I want to say Walters. Um, Jennifer Walters is. There, Walt, well, yeah. There we go. So it could, that could be Murdoch. Or you should have is like Matt Murdoch and have Walters put over the top. Because would you really want to argue with She-Hulk? Yeah. I won. The first thing that pops up is like, maybe Alison Brie's going to be She-Hulk. Not really, no. I think she's already got a wrong with the MCU, to be fair. Oh, man. Did you see that, what? Alison Brie? Alison Brie, yeah, she's fucking Captain Marvel. No, that's Brie Larson. Oh, shit. God, I got those too confused. <laughs> Damn it. So I was thinking then, Alison Bree, is that the girl from Community? Yes, it is, yeah. No worries. My bad. Sorry, guys. I was like, she doesn't appear in the MCU, Carl. What? Yeah, my bad. Sorry. I just know. I just heard Bree. Yeah, Did you that's see that, thing. Um, that Bree Larson started up a gaming channel? And gamer boys are fucking mad. <laughs> that Bree Larson has the audacity to enter their space. And the best <laughs> screenshot I saw 
is some guy, and you know exactly the kind of guy I'm talking about. The, the bearded reply guy is like, her channel is going to be dead within a month. Oh, it's man. a screenshot, and he's got less subscribers than she does. <laughs> Let's do a little Spidey work out in the city. Yeah, Spidey work, my favourite. Let's go. Explore the city. Let's find try find some crime, shall we? Keep an eye out. It's New York. Let's bound with some crime. There's also heard, side I've heard quests. I've in New York, Carl, but I'm not sure. Because uh, I don't think I did many of the side quests when I actually played my game. Right, yeah. With the exception of yeah, beating yeah. Taskmaster. Because coffee. fuck yeah, I have to beat Taskmaster. I love Taskmaster. Do you really beat Taskmaster, Carl? No, no one beats Taskmaster. He's too good. He is. Here we go. So I'm going to solve some crime. I don't yeah. have, though, my um, Spider Man just explodes everything button anymore, so I apologize. Oh, no, you don't. It's like the, the one that I saw though talking about She Hulk was like, the, um, you know, Stephanie Beatrice from Brooklyn Nine Nine. Um, I also saw as well, um, maybe a wrestler do it. Yeah, that'd be awesome. There's, there's two ways you can go with. Uh, oh god, I pressed R1 to dodge. Oh god, oh, god. Trans oh, Transformers, oh, no, no, no. Transformers uh, playthrough is messing me up again. The exact same thing happened last time when I played Transformers first. And you were pressing circle to dodge. Yeah, and now I'm in this and I'm pressing R1 to dodge and getting hit because of it. That was, a, that was a hefty way to start the fucking fight, wasn't it? You've got to learn. You've got to learn today. But, uh, Carl, so what you're saying is we need Ronda Rousey as shield. No, never. <laughs> After seeing how she acted in fucking Mortal Kombat, no. Right, so there's two ways you can go with She-Hulk when you're like doing it, uh, when you're doing her out of uh, She-Hulk 4. Either you can have her be small and waif-like, which she is originally when she becomes She-Hulk, or you can do her like she's buff, because Jennifer Walton is buff later in the fight. Totally so you make her like a fucking Amazon woman. Just, uh, yeah. I'll be there soon. Oh god, that taxi. It didn't, it didn't ask for that car. Oh, no. Parker, no. I just stopped a drug deal. I'm really sorry, <laughs> Dr. Anton Fox. How did I lose track of time? I love How did I lose track crime. of time? I wonder, Peter. I bet Hall asked Pat's best, uh, Dr. Octavius then. That's Sounds that's amazing to me that it's like this game, it's like, yeah, Spider Man as Spider Man really is at a point where he's got his shit together. Except but Peter, Peter Parker, Parker does, not. does not. Peter Parker constant? never gets his life together. No, because he's too busy being Spider-Man. Exactly. He's always like too, trying to do too much. And the only way you're allowed to get your shit together is if you're like... Well, I suppose he still doesn't, but he, he kind of does is when you're like, you know, Batman and you're a fucking billionaire. Yeah, but Spider-Man is can't do that. And you've got other people to like pay to do shit for you and you can just worry about living in a mansion yeah. and being Batman, but... It's also yeah. the thing as well. Yeah! Oh, this is oh, the one go. one. This <laughs> is the it. Class. Funny. My fear of heights didn't go away when I got my bar. Oh, that's rough. I had to climb to the he top says, of the standing on top. He <laughs> said, yeah, I had to get, climb the yeah. To be fair, though, that is a bomb ass selfie. That is that, the greatest selfie that ever existed. You would complete Tinder with that selfie. <laughs> uh, the only one, uh, there's one in real life that almost tops that, and it's the Tom Cruise one. Uh, when he was filming Mission Impossible 4, um, do you know where they climbed Burj Khalifa? Oh, yeah. In, uh, uh, Saudi Arabia. Mm. He climbed. Oh, sorry, uh, uh, in Dubai. Maybe it's yes, yeah, I, always yeah. get, I always get confused between um, Saudi Arabia, Abu Dhabi, and Dubai. I'm really sorry, guys. Geography is not my strong point. But um, he climbed to the top of that for the movie, and he had a helicopter taken to the literal very tippy top, and he sat on top and had a photo taken on top of it. So what you're saying it, is Tom Cruise like outpost Spider Man? Yes, man. I kind of, I kind of have to. It's I right want that on my resume. Yeah, but I took problem. a better selfie than Spider-Man did. Yeah, that's uh, that's fucking impressive then. I didn't know that. Is that oh, what? Spider-Man um, took a picture on top of the Empire State. Well, Tom Cruise did one better. He did the tall yeah. stuff in the world. Here's your stuff. There we go. Bye. Oh, he got stuck to that truck. So I think a lot of people um, like that I've spoken to about it in the past mm -hmm. don't realise the Empire State isn't the tallest building anymore. No, no, it's nowhere near. Easy. Easy. But um, I believe like the Burj Khalifa was built with the intent of fuck it, this is going to be the biggest circle. building. Like we must beat everybody else. Oh gosh, yeah. Oh, God. 
I just have to. I, I love that they got out of their car. Like, yeah, we've got the drop on him. I didn't even know they were there. I just yeah, saw the red exactly. Dot, fuck's sake. And I think that more than anything shows why Spider-Man's always late and he can't get his shit together because he can't <laughs> ignore it. Like, it's right there. It only took me a minute to do. And it's New York as well, so that's happening every four blocks. Of course. And then there's the thing with Spider-Man as well where like, one of the reasons that he, even though he realistically could solve bigger problems, and like they, he gets invited to join the Avengers in the comic like ten times, and he periodically will help them. But he never joins as like a full time member. Because he, he always says like, "Well, who's going to look after the little guy?" Yeah. Which is why I think he's one of the most beloved heroes in that universe. Because yeah, he still will stop and help people who get mugged and things like that. Tony Stark will stop mugging. And the thing is, you might think to yourself, "Yeah, but that's what police are for." But clearly, you know, modern day has shown maybe that's not what we can do. Exactly. But like maybe we shouldn't trust the police with everything. It's a mugging act. I can't, I, I, it's right I, there. God it's damn it. right there. You know what? Fuck it. Oh god. Think about that. Like he's dead. Like you just took a hundred foot drop square to yeah. his face. Ooh. Yeah, these dodgers. I'm still on transformers. <laughs> he's in transformers mode. You know what? Let's try my new ability out. We just like oh, gone berserker people. mode. Yeah. Which just lets me armor through everything. Yeah. Oh God, I never use this power, but it actually seems like it's quite useful. Yeah, because it hits people with shields or when they're blocking with weapons. Oh God, look at this damage. Yeah, because that that thing of just I know you've got a weapon that you're gonna block with, but fuck you. Have slide you seen the crowd slide cheering? Slide back attack, Carl. Slide back attack. Oh, I thought... Oh, shit! I was, like, saying that. Is he going to go... I thought he was going to go threaten the civilian. Oh, my God, Carl. He, he I've actually never did. seen this happen. I've never seen that happen. So I was wondering, because he was the last guy. Yeah, no so I thought, oh, I was going to let him fight me. And he ran over to the civilian. Oh, is it would be really cool if he just grabs the civilian, and he did. Because I thought it was weird. I was like, oh, it's weird that he's getting stopped by the civilian. Maybe his, like, AI's a bit off. Nope. He did it. He actually took the hostage. I've never seen that happen before. It's because you always end the fight too quick. I do. I make sure no fucker escapes. No one escapes. Spine. Well, it technically didn't escape. It's just he had time to mentally scar that poor woman. Okay then, Carl. I never give them time to do anything. <laughs> that, that lady's like, oh, Spider-Man saved me today, but now I've got crippling uh, anxiety. Yeah. That's how J. Jonah would uh, swing it, wouldn't he? Oh, oh Spider-Man saved me from a hostage situation. Yeah, but did you get stressed out by it? I love that. Key card, let's go. Boop. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You Not think really. of what you want it to do, and... Oh, so that's the arm we were working on, though. Yeah. Like, so this is... Good. Look at how good this is. Also as well, this would be this would be impressive if <laughs> Avengers Tower wasn't around the corner. That is true. Hey. Yeah. Hey. If hey. Iron Man wasn't a real thing, like maybe it would be very, very impressive. Like the way I've heard Stop it put is, right like keep in mind this that in, like in Batman, equipment. Cassandra Kane is in a wheelchair in the same universe where Cyborg Peter exists. <laughs> how the hell yeah! Speak of the devil. But I suppose uh, Cyborg's like How long have we known modified by Mother Box or whatever it is. Well, I think about that though. It's Norman. Shit like that. She's disabled Norman. in Norman, a world where Batman knows that guy. Yeah. The grand agreement you But as well, when um, in The Dark Knight Returns, your first where Batman has like a fucked up knee to the point Those where he can't excuse. walk properly. The mean? robo brace. And then he just puts a brace on it and it's like, oh yeah, perfect. I can kick through concrete. And he but never uses that again. Through. No. It's like a Pavlov's gun that they never you use. For your great service it's to like, our country. Batman Pavlov's just made Chekhov's that in a day. Chekhov's gun, sorry. Because I thought, oh, in the fight with Bane, he's just the going to kick Bane's knee apart. No charge. This isn't and he's like, no, it's never mentioned again. Is it? So I was like, I'm a trying movie. to help you, Arnold. Oh, sure. As well, this, like, this version of Norman Osborn looks so much like Robert Redford. Secure environment. It really does. Yeah, if you think it's Robert Redford, the um, the he's the guy in the MCU. You haven't uh, changed a bit. The head of S.H.I.E.L.D. That yeah. new Fury shit talks, it's that guy. 
Hey. The same guy that um, Harry will be coming doesn't Ant Man just like bash his face in Maybe into the desk. The two of you can start that business you always talked about. Yeah, is it Parker in, Parker Industries? This is opportunity knocking. So Norman Osborn being a huge prick, shutting down Doctor Octopus. I also appreciate the subtle hints of green in his outfit. Hmm. Easy, easy. I, um, easy. I can't get over the dick move though. Uh, they didn't take yeah, everything. we're destroying your work because we don't think it's getting anywhere. Peter. This man's literally using the it's arm no right now. Yeah, and then we he's like, the "No, we'll give him an we'll, we'll give him an Oscorp arm, yeah. free of charge, so he doesn't go to the press." I need some time to think. What's but the I think it's kind is? of like is delved into in the free game where it's basically, well, he's not gonna let Otto get away with shit because he just doesn't like him. Yeah. Like, he's actively trying to make him fail. Even when he's trying to help people. He's like, no, fuck you. I don't want to compete with you. I've got yeah. the money to shut you down. And you can kind of see why Peter Parker doesn't want to work with him. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he's a prick. He's rich, and I'd be rich if I worked with him, but why would I work with someone who'd be, like, profit of over lives? And he's a shit mayor. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's a shit mayor. He puts profit above lives. I'm so oh, glad Henry. that, like, the medical industry Ask today... Ask him to talk to his dad. Yeah, to go Norman never listens to Harry. Oh, I'm, I'm going. Even tried to kill funding <laughs> for his research stations. Yeah. Hey. Aha. Uh -huh. Those stations Whoa. are nearby. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. Oh god. Must the constant mention die. as well of just I'll like. Think of something. Oh yeah, Harry's in Europe. He's in Europe. Well, it explains why he's not there. Because otherwise you'd be asking where is it? Oh Ooh, no, more just like shooter. I. Hey. You know. My Mark One web shooters. I really enjoy the fact that it's alluded to of like, yeah, Harry's not here, and he's he's like in Europe, right? Yeah, of course he's in Europe. Definitely in Europe. I, I, I like this design. It's cool. Like web, well, the web shooter, the classic one. I, 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 first... I change between whether or not I like the classic web shooter or the idea that Spider-Man produced it organically like a spider. Um, I I like the idea of it. But I don't appreciate when the movie is like, yeah, he's just gonna have that organic web, so we don't have to explain it. Yeah. And then it's like, but that's against the, like what the comic books do. Okay, well, for sure. At the same time, though, they also do the thing of let's not explain where he gets it from. Yeah. It's always been about the truth. When I was a reporter at a newspaper, but like, you know, Luke, 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 Luke. the best joke ever just been told. Jameson, and all about truth. <laughs> all about the truth. I created the Scorpion. But yeah, it's um. Like a hungry shark just beneath the water. Oh god, I forgot my point. What were we talking about a second ago? Uh, web shooters. Oh yeah, I was gonna say um, it is shown off in most like the movies and stuff that yeah, Spider Man is well, Peter is really intelligent and makes it. Mm -hmm. But then it feels like a bit of a cop out to ignore that and just be like, well, I guess it's part of his power set. Yeah, and I don't think any movies handle that quite well enough like Homecoming does it good but then Tony Stark gives him his suit yeah it's like he invented his own web flu but then Tony Stark gives him his suit it's like Ugh. I guess that's okay because that's the one thing I don't like about MCU Spider-Man is I think he's Tom Holland has a really great character as Peter and think plays Spider-Man really well but the fact that he's so reliant on Tony Stark's like technology Even in yeah, even in like uh, Far From Home. Yeah. Where they just say, oh yeah, here's just Tony Stark. Here's his Tony Stark playset. Just make your own costume. It's all for fuck's sake. Yeah. And the vulture cracked my eye lens, it almost blew.